Hey fellow hypnotists, you ever wonder how you get high quality audio in a Zoom call so you can play music in the background while you're doing a hypnosis session? Well, if you're on Mac operating system, if you've got a MacBook, MacBook Pro, something like that, this is the video for you. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. By the way, my name's Duff. I'm a certified professional hypnotist, boulderhypnosisworks.com. I'm also a bit of a geek. I love geeking out about audio equipment and so on. Got a nice mic here as you can sound probably here rather and uh we're going to show you today so this is a piece of software called audio hijack and if you get audio hijack and loop back these are two pieces of software by a company called rogue amoeba i have no affiliation they're just awesome pieces of software that allow you to manipulate the audio on your computer in every way you want so what you can kind of see here uh there's a sidebar here there's all these blocks you can do various things in this program like you can take an input device and uh, filter it through a bunch of stuff into an output device. That's what we want to kind of do. And then we want to take that output from all this and throw it into Zoom somehow. How do we do that? Well, I'm going to show you how. So first, you want to connect your input. I'm using, like I said, a nice microphone here. It's a $400 Heil PR40 microphone. Sounds amazing. You don't have to use this mic, though. You can use any mic you happen to have, a USB mic, a uh, you can use the mic on some earbuds, the mic on your MacBook Pro, whatever you got, you can use, and you can always upgrade later. But I'm using a Heil PR40. It goes into a USB mixer. So when it comes into the computer through a USB cord, it's called USB audio codec. I don't know why it's called that. I think a codec is like software that translates, etc. I don't know, but that's what it's called. So if I select that, it gives me the right audio. If I select something else like external microphone, which is this little mic here, it doesn't sound as good as you can tell. Or if I select the MacBook, it's also not going to sound as good. So what I want to make sure I do is select the right thing here, USB codec, so that I can actually use the equipment that I bought. Next thing you want, you want denoise. Again, you're getting all these things from over here, right? You're getting them all from over here. So you can look in the filter and you can look it up like that, or you can just kind of scroll down and find it. Uh, but you can hide the sidebar too. So I'm going to do that. So the denoise, you want to connect these sort of two things together. And uh, you there you'll when you first use this, it won't have known what the noise is in your environment. So you give it three seconds. And now it's quieter, right? I had a fan going right here, blowing on me. It's making some noise in the background. But now, boom, it's eliminating it. You can play with these. I max out the noise reduction uh, and leave this kind of in the middle. Play with it, whatever sounds best, right? So I also have a 10 band equalizer in here, which uh, adjusts the low, medium, and high frequencies. You can also do that on a mixer. My mixer is kind of crappy though. I've got a very simple one, a Xenix Q802. It's only got high lows and mids, so this gives a little bit more control. You don't have to play with this. I just selected small speakers and it sounded the best to me. There's also things like spoken word, or this is all for different music. Uh, but that sounded good enough. I've got this magic boost in here turned on. You don't have to have this, but the one reason I do have it is because it sort of boosts my voice when it's quiet. If I turn this off and I'm doing hypnosis, it's very, very quiet. So it might not be able to hear me. So I turn it on and when I talk quietly, it actually boosts it louder. It's also nice if you have a nice mic because nice mics often actually don't boost the volume high enough. So I've got that. Uh, the other thing I've got in here, you want to have some application that plays your music. So I'm using the music app on the Mac OS, which will link into uh, the rest of my flow here. I also put Spotify in here. I don't usually use Spotify, but if you want to play some pop music for some reason, you can throw that in there. Uh, then I have these peak level kind of things because you can see I'm getting some good levels uh, and the voice is loud enough. If I turn the levels way down on my USB mic, on my USB mixer, you can see that it goes way down. It's a little quieter. If I turn them up too high, it's peaking out. It sounds like shit. So you want to get it around where you have sort of a moderate amount. You could talk really loud and it's not peeking out, or you could talk quietly and it's doing okay because the magic boost. So that's a nice thing. Uh, optional, but I leave that in there. Uh, and then the more important thing here is you want to output this audio somewhere. So it's coming in. Where do you want it to go? And this is where you have uh, a virtual microphone, a virtual device we're creating. And we're not creating it in here though. We're going to create it in loopback. It's very simple. You add a new virtual device, and when you do it, it looks kind of like this. You got a sources, pass through, output channels, channels one and two. That's left and right, right? Left ear, right ear. Uh, so mine, 
I renamed to Heil PR40 Mic Enhancer Pass-Through. It's a, it's a mouthful, but that describes what it is. It's using my Heil PR40. It's enhancing the mic in uh, Audio Hijack in various ways, and then it's passing it through. So that's why I called it that. You could call it Hypnosis Talk Plus Music or whatever else you want to call it. The important thing is you use that name consistently, right? So the name is here in Loopback. It's also over here in the output device. And one more place you want it is in Zoom. So you want to go over here in Zoom in a new meeting. Uh, you want to select the correct microphone as Heil PR40 Mic Enhancer Pass Through. That's what I called it. Again, if you called it Hypnosis Talk Plus Music or Loopback Audio 2, you want to select the thing you called it. Great. Now, there's one other thing we need to do. Remember when we set up this denoiser here to make it quiet? That was pretty cool. But you know what? Zoom already has one of those. And in fact, if we turn on music, like if I play some nice hypnosis music that I purchased, uh, if I play this soft, kind, quiet music to put you into trance, the problem with that is that Zoom will cancel that out. It will think somebody's playing music in the other room and cancel that out. Just like if you're on Zoom and someone's audio suddenly sounds like gar, 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 gar. that's probably because they're outside. There's some road noise or something. It's canceling it out. So what we want to do is turn off Zoom's denoiser. To do that, you go into the zoom.us menu. You go to preferences uh, and then you go into audio and make sure uh, right now it's going to be Zoom optimized audio is turned on. This is what most people use because it has background noise suppression. That's actually a really nice thing for most calls. But since you are playing music, you want to use original sound for musicians. Make sure stereo audio is turned on. Uh, echo cancellation. Just leave all of these things on, okay? That'll be the best. So then go up here to original sound for your musicians. Off. That'll appear. This wasn't there before. Make sure that's turned on. Now, noise suppression is disabled. People will hear your actual music. So when it comes to time to put on music, you'll put it on and your music will sound amazing. By the way, you can adjust the loudness of your music over here. So you can turn it all the way to max. That's too much probably. Or make it really quiet. I just leave it somewhere in the middle. Good enough. Uh, now I do have a couple other things in Audio Hijack set up. So I have an output device, external headphones. What's that? That's what we call a monitor in the biz. If I turn this on, I can hear that the music is on and I can also hear my own voice in my ears. Sounds pretty fucking great. Uh, but if I don't want that on, I can turn it off. Okay, so I don't need to know. That's uh, just for me to check to see if it's working. Now there will be a slight delay if you have this denoiser on because it takes a fraction of a second to denoise the audio that's coming in. If you turn off the denoiser, the monitor and your external headphones will sound pretty much exactly the same time that you're speaking. Uh, but you can turn it off and on just to, to check to make sure that music is playing. Now, the other thing you can do if you want to make a high quality audio recording with the amazing mic you purchased, the $400 mic you bought, and the amazing $97 uh, background music you bought, you can do it right here in Audio Hijack. You could record in Zoom, but you could also do it here. So you turn this on and it starts recording right away, going deeper and deeper into the memory files of your computer. So when you're done with this, you just pause the recording uh, and then you wanna split that file. So then you can turn it off. So where did that go? That went over here into recordings. This was the recording we just made. Uh, if you wanna show where it is, you can right click or control click and reveal that in the finder. Boom, there you go. You copy, throw that up into uh, uh, some sh uh, file sharing service of your choice, like Google Drive, Dropbox and so on and uh, send that off to your client. Fantastic. Well, that's, where you, that's, that's the tutorial here. Under 10 minutes. That was pretty awesome. Uh, if you got any questions, throw it in the comments below or look me up on Facebook, Duff McDuffie, or go over to boulderhypnosisworks.com and uh, send me an email. I love helping out fellow hypnotists do this kind of geeky stuff because I geek out about the technology and no one will listen to me in daily life. So at least if there's somebody who wants my advice, then, then I'm uh, you know happy to share it. So thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day and go out there and hypnotize people, make a difference, uh, improve your, prove your business, prove your life, and have a wonderful time.